On Saturday, February 3rd, the 11-3-1 Holliston Panthers met up with the 11-2-1 Hopkinton Hillers for a crucial TVL showdown. The Hillers got things started off quickly. Amblin met up with Cooper D. Cristoforo. Amblin with the shot there, and the secondary attempt is going to be a goal. Sean Walt. How about that? Less than two minutes in. And Tommy Hamill making a nice steal off the boards and Sean Walsh going right to the front of the net like he was supposed to be. The goal by Sean Walsh came less than two minutes in at 13.06 left in the first period. And then just 10 minutes of clock later, Hopkinton struck again. Thinking about the shot here and that one is going to be off of Bridges. Lindquist with a secondary attempt, and that's a goal! Matt Lindquist with a little bit of power on it, puts it right. Nice fortuitous rebound there right out to him, and he put everything into that kind of a knuckle puck, but right into the top corner. Yeah, puts it right to the stick side corner. What a goal by Lindquist. The Hillers held the 2-0 lead, heading into the third with some great defensive play and goaltender play by Dylan O'Leary. Will Abbott would put the icing on the cake at 4.15 left in the third. Simos puts it around the end board. Back to the neutral zone, Abbott on a break. Abbott has other plans here as he takes it to the right circle. The wrist turn has a goal! How about that? Olsen has the power play, but the Hillers get the goal. Will Abbott. Whenever you think there's a game that Will Abbott might not have a point, <laughs> He usually changes that pretty quickly. He's always around the puck, and just a great stop and go move there. He had the defenseman frozen. He didn't know which way he was going to go, inside or out, and then just drove around him. Snuck that through the pads. Another example of great stick work by Will Abbott, and he has his 33rd point of the season. The Hopkinton Hillers get a step closer to clinching the TVL as they took down Holliston 3 to nothing. Hopkinton improved to 12-2-1 with the win, while Holliston falls to 11-4-1. To DePeron. This is it. It's going to be a buzzer beater. You're either going to win, tie, or lose. Right now. For three. No. And that's it. Hopkinton hangs on. The Hillers take the 63-61 win. On Friday, February 2nd, the Hillers boys hung on to beat Ashland on the road, 63-61. Ben McKenzie went off in the game and racked up 26 points. The Hopkinton Hillers boys basketball team has been white hot lately. After losing to a good Bellingham team, the Hillers won six straight games until a 50-47 loss and a good battle against Dover Sherborne on Tuesday, February 6th. The Hillers are now 9-7 and seven on the season and just have to win one more game to get into the postseason. The Hillers girls basketball team also picked up a road win against Ashland on Friday, February 2nd. Ivy Goglin was the star of the game, racking up 20 points and 19 rebounds. The Hillers took the game 66-35 and improved to 11-4 and four with the win. The Lady Hillers followed up with another road win in Dover Sherborne, 57 to 29. Hopkinton is now 12-4 and four overall and will continue to try to rack up wins to fight for some home games in the postseason.